in today's lesson we're going to discuss organs and tissues of immune systems from immunology bmi 2607 module based on the functions the organ and tissues of immune systems can be divided into primary or secondary lymphoid organs and tissues the primary organs and tissues are where immature lymphocytes matures and differentiate into antigen sensitive B and T cells. The thymus is primary lymphoid or organs for T cells and bone marrow is primary lymphoid tissue for B cells. The secondary organs and tissues serves as areas where lymphocytes may encounter and bind antigen which triggers their pro uh, proliferation and differentiation into fully active antigen specific effector cell the spleen is a secondary lymphoid organ and lymph nodes and mucosal associated tissue galt galt gut associated lymphoid tissue and salt skin associated lymphoid tissues are secondary lymphoid tissue let's begin with primary organs and tissues so primary lymphoid organs are thymus and bone marrow the thymus is a lymphoid organ found above the heart that is highly structured precursor cells from the bone marrow travels to thymus outer cortex where they multiply about 98 percent of them die as they age owing to thymic selection which eliminates t cells that can recognize and respond to the host the remaining 2% of the cell migrate to thymus medulla where they mature then enter blood streams and recognize non-self antigen bone marrow site of b cell maturation in mammals maturation involves removal of non-functioning and self reactive cells b cell maturation take places in bone marrow of mammals a selection mechanism within bone marrow eliminate non-functioning b cells and those that recognize and respond against self similar to thymic selection during t cell development the rest of the b cells mature in the bone marrow before entering the bloodstream next we have secondary lymphoid organs and tissue which consist of spleen lymph nodes and lymphoid tissues starting with spleen the spleen is most highly organized secondary lymphoid organ it is large organ located in the abdominal cavity that functions to filter blood and traps blood borne particles to be assessed for foreigners by phagocytosis macrophages and dendritic cell are present in abundance and once trapped by splenic macrophage or dendritic cells a pathogen in is phagocytosed killed and digested the resulting antigens are present to lymphocyte activating a specific immune system or immune response next we have is lymph nodes lymph nodes lies at the junction of lymphatic vessels where macrophages and dendritic cells trap particles that enters the lymphatic system if a particle is found to be foreign it is then phagocytosed and degraded and resulting antigens are presented to lymphocytes The last one is lymphoid tissue. They are also located throughout the body, serve as interface between innate and acquired host immunity. They act as areas of antigen sampling and processing. Some lymphoid cells are found closely associated with specific tissue. For example, skin associated lymphoid tissues are called salt, and mucus associated lymphoid tissues are known as malt or m a l t
associated lymph or tissue. Despite the skin's protection, harmful bacteria can occasionally get access to tissue beneath the skin surface. They meet a unique group of cells known as skin-associated lymphoid tissue, also known as soils. Their main role is to keep microbial intruders in the area just beneath the epidermis and prevent them from getting into the bloodstreams. Two types of specialized cells are present, Langerhans cells and intraepidermal lymphocytes. Langerhans and cells are dendritic cells that can phagocytose antigens, differentiate into interdigitating dendritic cells, present antigen to and activate T cells, while intraepidermal lymphocyte functions as a T cell. The figure on the screen represents the skin associated lymphoid tissue. Keratinocytes make up 90% of epidermis. They are capable of secreting cytokines that cause an inflammatory response to invading pathogens. Langerhans cells internalize antigen and move to a lymphoid node where they differentiate into dendritic cells that present antigen to help a T cell and the intraepidermal lymphocyte may function as T cells that can activate B cells to induce an antibody response. Mucosal associated lymphoid tissue. They are specialized immune barrier, for example, galt, balt, or malt, which is um, which represent a uh, galt represent gut associated lymphoid tissue. Then we have bronchial associated lymphoid tissue and urogenital system malt. The figure on the screen shows functions of M cell in mucosal associated immunity. In the figure A, structure of an M cell located beneath, between two epithelial cells in a mucous membrane, the M cell endocytoses the pathogen and releases it into the pocket containing helper T cell, B cell and macrophages. It is within the pocket that the pathogen often is destroyed. In figure B, the antigen is transported by M cell to the organized lymphoid follicles containing B cell. The activated B cell mature into plasma cell which produces antibodies that are released into lumen where they react with the antigen that caused their production. This is all about organs and tissue of immune system. You should be able to describe now salt and malt functions in the innate resistance response. What is the function of spleen, lymph node and thymus? What is the importance of thymic selection? If there is an injury to spleen and we need to remove it, what impact would be would this have on the host defenses? Thank you for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe for more.